Good morning, good afternoon, or even a good evening, everybody. How is everyone doing on this lovely and beautiful and amazing and unbelievable Monday, everybody? I hope you all guys had a great and fun St. Patrick's Day and a lovely weekend as well. Guys, I just want to get right down to business and right into the episode. So ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome back to the channel of Cubs Baseball with Rye Knife. I am very, very happy to be doing a episode live from the beautiful, sunshine, warm state of Arizona. But I have to be honest with you guys. Let's just get right into it. Um, so uh, today, guys, is Monday. Happy Monday to all you guys. It is March 18th of 2024. So um, I was reading some of the uh, comments from uh, my past couple of episodes down here. And actually, one of them really stuck out to me. Everybody's asking the same question of what is it like in spring training with the Cubs. Number one, it, it's phenomenal. Um, I got to be honest with you, when I was at the Rockies facility, the d back facility, uh, down here in spring training as well, uh, they, they, that, that was amazing and a great experience as well. But I will say this about the Cubs. We got, they are passionate. Uh, I I got to be honest with you. I, I've been able to meet a lot of players a lot of coaches with other MLB teams, but the one thing about the Cubs is passion. And I I see fans that are Cub fans really, really loving the game, the paying attention. To be very honest with you guys, um, it, it, another great reason I gotta be down here is to watch my brother play with the Cubs. He actually is a minor leaguer. He did get an, um, a Chicago Cub at bat at the uh, big, big League Cubs game. I was able to attend, so that was really, really good. Um, and also, you know, coming down here every year the past, like, 15 years to see Cubs baseball, it, it really is amazing. I, I got the chance to uh, be up close with men like Ian Happ, uh, Nick Madrigal, Mark McGuire, Ryan Sandberg, um, Joe, former Cubs manager Joe Madden, um, uh, Anthony Rizzo, Wilson Contreras, Nico Horner, um, even Seiya Suzuki, believe it or not. Um, and uh, y y you know what? It's great knowing those guys. All those guys I mentioned are so so professional, so great with the fans, uh, loving being, you know, uh, some of them may not be a Cub anymore, but it, it really has been a wonderful experience. And then um, most importantly, of course, you know, having a brother that plays with the Cubs organization is even 10 times uh, better and you, uh, and support him down here um, and all that. Uh, so love you, Casey. Love you, man. Love you. And all that, but um, yeah, it's been really good. Um, you know, uh, being able to do YouTube videos down here, and that, that's the one thing that's really tough is you want to. I want to post a video for like at Sloan Park, and I, I can't really do that because that, that's copyright. So, unfortunately, that is a little disappointing. My lovely sister is up walking down the stairs, but so morning. She's, uh, she's upstairs getting ready. Um, so, yeah, I mean, it, it's been a, a fun time down here. I, uh, I can't be honest with you. And you, you know what? Uh, another thing I get asked a lot is my brother, like, what, like, he's a catcher. He, oh my, it, it, it's really a good story, you know? Coming down here, my, uh, my older brother, he really loves being with the Cubs. And I'm, I'm, I'm very happy. I've been a Cub fan all my life. So that was a blessing. Um, but uh, yeah, in case you don't know, Casey Opitz, by the way, 
is uh, his name. So uh, watch out for him. But um, and love you, bro. Love you, love, love you. So, um, but yeah, you, you know what? Um, being around the the big league, uh, I even got to be. Um, I got the opportunity to actually sit down with Cubs bench coach Ryan Flaherty. I got the opportunity to sit down with Cubs assistant hitting coach Dustin Kelly um, and Cody Bellinger and, and guys like that. You know, it, it really is a magical experience. I highly recommend it. If you want to come down for spring training, I highly, highly recommend it. You never know who you'll be able to see, even at a minor league facility. Um, you, you know, so, uh, it really is something I highly recommend, um, and all that, especially if you want to get out of cold weather, but, um, yeah, so, uh, you know, you know what, um, I think the only time I came down to spring training and I didn't enjoy it was 2020. Yeah. And we all know why that is. So, um. But you know what, uh, the Shamani experience it is so lovely. I uh, Not just to see my brother play with the Cubs, which by the way, was amazing to get see him get a big league at that. Um, but, and unfortunately he struck out, but um, you know, that that's totally okay because you know what guys, um, I, I, re I really have had the time of my life and I, uh, I'm happy I can share the experience with you in this video. Um, so uh, yeah, guys, um, that right there was my experience, by the way. Um, yeah, that that was right there my experience. But uh, I do want to thank all you guys um, for actually all the love and all the support. But I also um, love the, the questions you guys have wanted me to answer so um definitely right off the bat i i wanted to make that a priority so um that is a uh basically the experience i've had and uh all that i don't i i love my brother i'm playing with the cubs i love him uh but the reason i don't talk about him a lot is uh you know safety and all that so uh you know, you, I, I kind of have to be careful and respecting him and his privacy as a Cubs minor league player right now. But um, be, when he gives me the permission to talk about him, I'm always willing to do it. So, um, and it, it's really good because, you know, I support him. He supports me. It goes both ways and we love each other so much. So, um, yeah, guys, with all that said, um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And uh, all that, if you did, do me a favor, hit that thumbs up and that like button. Make sure if you haven't subscribed, you click that subscribe button down below as well. And always feel free to leave a comment. Tell me what you want me to talk about next. Um, even though I actually planned a, a lot of this out, step by step, day by day. Oh my God, that's fun to say. But you, at the end of the day, I love knowing what you guys want me to talk about because I can plan that even in the next episode. And so um, if you guys want me to discuss something more, all you have to do is definitely let me know. I am willing to uh, work around the uh, my YouTube schedule on episodes to make sure I get that in um, and all that. So uh, don't, you know, don't, don't feel stressed out. You know, oh, it's too late. It's not. Even though I have stuff planned out uh, for episodes for months, I can always rearrange it and get what you guys want also in the next episode. So don't, don't be, don't stress out about that. Okay. Um, because I want you guys to enjoy it. All right. So, but with all that said, guys, I do hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, I hope you all had a great and safe weekend. And I hope you are all having a great start to your Monday so far. With all that said, uh, I want to thank you for watching this episode. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And uh, happy Monday. And again, I will catch all you guys in the next episode. I love you guys. Have a great Monday. And I'll see you in the next episode.